Recently, I was on Google's developer blog and noticed a new framework by Google, A2UI, which is an open project for agent-driven interfaces built by CopilotKit, and it's really impressive. A2UI essentially lets AI generate rich, interactive UIs that can render natively across the web, mobile, and desktop without executing arbitrary code. You can build an A2A agent, configure it to use A2UI, use the A2UI composer to generate widgets and render them directly in your Copilot powered app. Just take a look at this demo. It's a landscape architecture app and essentially you can upload a photo and then the agent is able to analyze it with Gemini. From there, it can automatically generate a custom form that's tailored to the user's landscaping needs. It even adds interactive components like a chart for numerical summaries or a Google Map to handle location-specific questions. But what makes all of this possible is Copilot and A2UI. It is where it lets the agent generate these rich interactive interfaces and render them natively across the web, mobile, and desktop, all without running any arbitrary code. And essentially with this client app, it stays in full control and the UI feels completely seamless. Here's another example where with Google and Copilot Kit's A2 UI, you can also create custom components with interactive charts and maps. One agent can choose a chart to answer a numerical summary question, and then a Google map component to answer a location question, both fully interactive and client offered. This is the capability of this framework, and it's gonna allow you to create some really interactive widgets with these two frameworks. So to get started, you can take a look at the Copa Kit A2 UI Composer. This is essentially the widget builder and you can experiment with different components visually. You can generate A2 UI JSON by describing what you want and you can essentially use natural language prompts to see real-time previews of whatever you're looking to create. You can copy the JSON to use in your agents and so much more. So I can say, create me a photo upload and form panel. I can simply click on create and it's gonna generate a widget for me. So there we go. It looks like our photo upload and form panel has been generated with the upload photo, field names, all of it has been generated thanks to the A2 UI composer. But essentially you now have this JSON blueprint of our UI. This JSON isn't executable code, it's a declarative description of all of our components over here. And it's essentially laying out the layouts, the interactions, and to make it usable, you need to feed this into a render. This could be something like Copilot Kit. You can also use something like Lit, React, Angular, but essentially what it will do is it's gonna map the JSON to native widgets and renders the interface. Once it has been rendered, your agent can dynamically update the UI based off of the user actions, like a photo upload in our case, or a form submission. It creates a fully interactive experience, especially the JSON that is gonna allow your agent to generate secure, cross-platform, and fully customizable interfaces that you can run on the web, mobile, or desktop without touching your front-end code. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Remember how I said AGUI works really well? Well, this is a framework, a part of Copilot that is fully free and open source. Essentially, AGUI is an agent user interaction protocol that handles the bi-directional connection between their app as well as any agent, backend, managing communication, and state. A2UI, on the other hand, as you saw, is a declarative generative UI spec from Google that allows agents to return structured UI components like forms, buttons, as well as charts. You have so many different sorts of components that it's capable of outputting. And there's a gallery that showcases all of this. It's going to essentially allow the agents to return structured UI components. And as a part of the response, you're going to be able to get this stack that lets developers build secure cross-platform agent-driven interfaces with AGUI combined with it. 
Also in FY, they also have this pretty cool thing where you can use agent to agent interaction with AGUI. Essentially, this is where you can use the A2A protocol where you can have agents talk to each other, which is incredible. And I really, really recommend that you use this because it's something that will get you better workflows with agent-driven development. And you can run this within the CLI. As well, you can use it with their front-end app, which you can run locally. For example, just take a look at AGUI in action. This is where the open protocol has been enabled. And you can see that there's a couple of examples. With the shared state, you have this beautiful interaction of a chat that we had sent in for an AI recipe assistant. And it generated this beautiful user interface, a widget that lets us actually interact with it. In the same manner, you have a tool-based generative UI, which combines agent intelligence with specialized tools for highly tailored outputs. This is where it is going to be able to display translated words. You have subgraphs, which showcase different components, and a genetic chat where you can simply send in a chat and it responds agentically. You have human in the loop. You have a genetic generative UI where if I am to create a simple plan, it generates this interactive UI for us. And you can also have predictive updates generated as well, thanks to AGUI. To showcase this in action, we're going to choose a front-end client. We're going to use AGUI that acts as the bridge between our agent and our app. But you need to have a front-end that renders a display of the UI. And some options could be Copilot Kit, which is the easiest and fully integrated with A2UI. You can use Lit, React, as well as Flutter. But these clients are something that need to read the A2UI JSON and render it using their native components. This is why I'm going to be showcasing this demo with the A2UI demo repo that has been already generated. So what we can do is start off by cloning this repo. Once we have cloned it, we can then set our Gemini API key, which I'm going to do off screen. Then I'm simply heading over to this restaurant finder basic agent interface that was already generated. Now, what I'm going to do is run it within a specified environment using UV. And once that is done, what we're going to do is run a sample chat that uses AGUI plus A2UI. So here is a restaurant finder app that's built with A2UI plus with AGUI. In this case, if I'm to click on finding me an Italian restaurant near me, A2UI is going to handle the interface. It's going to let the user search, filter, and interact with the results in real time. And this is something that's powered by the Gemini API. So it's going to take its time and find me the closest and best uh, restaurants that are near me that are Italian. And you can see that AGI is then going to connect to the AI agent behind the scenes, which is going to process the queries and find the best restaurant options instantly. And these are a couple of options where I can open it up within Google Maps and I can take a look at them. These are the ones that are closest to me. Everything you see here from entering a location to getting a recommendation is powered by our agent, making it fully interactive and AI driven. This setup shows how quickly you can prototype and deploy smart apps with minimal coding. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on this new A2 UI open protocol. And this is something while having it powered with AGUI is going to be able to get you the best fully interactive agents that are going to be able to help you ready turn simple inputs into dynamic app experiences. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can get started. There's a lot more to this within their docs. So definitely recommend that you do that. Also give these guys a star because these eyes have been continuously supporting the channel as well as helping us make beautiful videos on free open source tools. So make sure you go ahead and give them a star off of their GitHub repo. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Our positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.